Okay, hello, I'm back. Um, I'm with this very old snare drum stick, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to tape a regular stick now. So it starts off with the same process, obviously. It's just that nice little whip around after you do right across the edge of the bead, like so. And if you are starting on this snare drum video, please at least watch the first few seconds of the bass mallet one because I show you more in detail of how to start these. Since this is an older snare drum stick that's very obviously not in use, I'm not going to be like making it perfect and pristine, but I just want to be able to tape enough to show you where we stop, like stop taping them, because we have stopped taping them all the way down to the ends of the stick due to the, the ability to like grip the stick. Um, it's more able to be gripped on actual wood rather than the stick tape, which is really smooth. Because wood has more of a texture. And basically, if you can see this process that I'm doing, it's just very in detail. Um, you just got to keep along that crease. And it's, it really doesn't take that much time once you get really good at this. My only like tip on how to do it really fast is to just keep your thumb right along here so you know that you're pushing it down right here and also keep it very keep the tape roll very close to you so you can easily just like undo this and then go back over and it's okay to like push it back onto the tape roll if you mess up a big spot it doesn't give it like any less stickiness. It's just, it's just tape. And remember to always use white colored tape unless specified other. It's just, it's really just a process. Very easy process. I know it seems like super complicated, but it's really just if you remember to go along the crease, don't go above or don't go under, just right along. It'll look very nice and pretty. And in actuality, this stick taping, like perfection, it doesn't actually matter. Like nobody's gonna judge you for how perfect your sticks are. I like to use the double taping method which is going along the crease, um, just because it provides more durability to um, like shots. It won't tear up your tape as much as just a single tape would. I actually don't even know how to single tape, which is funny because I always see people doing it. Um, this is how I was taught. I like this method. And this is how I want to teach you guys because it looks the cleanest and it's, you should have a very nice and clean pair of sticks for all your shows. So it's just good to know how to do this in case I'm not around, which I won't be after this winter season. And you guys really need to learn how because Apparently nobody was teaching other people and we've just had a lot of people go in and out and so there hasn't been that much time to even teach people. And so as I've been talking, um, for our sticks, typically what you want to do is you want to hold it up to you, like hold it in a whatever grip you have and just go to where like it does not touch your thumb or your finger. Your fulcrum should not be touching any tape. 
Um, for snares, I usually try to go right above his little flag, and I usually keep my fulcrum right on that flag, or at least just my thumb. This stick is a little different. I think this is like moved down some more from the ones that we are currently using. But for a base mallet, it's the same thing. Just try and see where your grip is and just put the tape, finish the tape right above that. So for this, I'm going to go right above this flag and I will show you how to finish a tape. I got my hair in this. So basically, I'm just going to go around like one more little time. Okay, that seems pretty good so far. And then what we're going to do is just start, instead of keeping your diagonal, you want to start going straight along and just, it's kind of like what you did at the top where it's just straight, straight once along the stick. And just keep that right there. It's gonna look a little goofy, but nobody's gonna be looking at it. It's just gonna go straight along, nice and perfect. And then if you're doing a show, sti a show stick, please cut this. But if it's just for practice, you can easily tear it off with your thumb and then push that down and then you've got a nice clean little stick and there you go if you have any questions please just ask me i am always willing to answer anything and i'm also able to stay after practice if you need me to teach you any like little details so just let me know thank you